we are starting with the first harmonic this is happening at 15.35 hertz because both ends are closed the next harmonic i should see at 16 sorry double of 15.35 that is 30.7 let's check So yeah, we are at 30.7.83 in fact, and you can see the second harmonic forming. So the third harmonic will be at 35. So at 35, you will get the, sorry, 15, 30, so 45 so at 45 you will get you should get the third harmonic you can clearly see we have arrived at at third harmonic at 45 hi i'm talking about this soko's question here and it goes like this if there's a string that is fixed at both the ends and we have an nth arm harmonic at 340 hertz and nth plus one harmonic at 425 hertz then what is the fundamental frequency well there are two approaches to solve this question one i can show you a practical way to think about it and the demonstration or the recording i have done with the function generator and a wave generator together and i can show you that any random nth harmonic is uh, converted into n plus one harmonic then the difference between the two frequencies is actually the fundamental frequency and that you can see in the video here 25 almost we have a harmonic you can clearly see This is a node, this is an anti node, and here again we have a node. We don't have a LED here, but we have a node, and yeah. We have a certain harmonic set at 64.7. Actually, first second third fourth this is the fourth harmonic set at 64.7 let's see when the fifth harmonic is set up the new harmonic is set set up at 75.8 so from previous to this is 15 hertz that means a difference of 15 hertz would mean that the first harmonic is at 15 hertz let's just check So we'll put it at 15 hertz. And that indeed makes the first harmonic. You can clearly see that we are close to 15 hertz and we have the first harmonic. So that's your Soko's question that is solved here. Hi. This is the second method of how to go on solving this question and this is pretty interesting because I'm going to use the mathematical approach and run through the basics of it or how to use this mathematical approach. So here you can see in the screen here if we have first harmonic set in a string that is kind of fixed at both the ends then length here actually becomes like this lambda the length two. here is now, because the two edges have the node the distance between the two nodes is lambda by two that's how we arrive at this again the length here because we have nodes at the edges and one more node in between we have the second harmonic and it is actually two times of lambda by two all right for the third harmonic, we can simply say that it will be three times of lambda by two. And the fourth harmonic, we can say that it will be four times of lambda by two. 
all right now from this we can arrive at a general equation for nth harmonic and we can say that the length of the string will be equal to n times lambda by 2 for the nth harmonic and using this and according to the question they have said that nth and nth plus one harmonic is set in the same string that's why we can form this equation that n lambda by 2 is equal to n plus 1 lambda dash by 2. Why I am putting a lambda dash when the new um, harmonic is set up the length will uh, sorry the wavelength will change and that's why I am using a, a, a lambda dash. Alright another thing is because the string is the same the speed of the wave will not change and we can say something like this that speed of the wave is going to be same. So for uh, the nth harmonic it will be lambda into f and for the n plus 1 harmonic we can write it as lambda dash f dash all right so from here we can substitute the values uh, for frequency a little bit later and i can say that f dash by f is equal to lambda by lambda dash and because f dash is 425 and we have f as 340 that gives this value of lambda by lambda dash as 1.25 now we will alter the earlier equation here what i will do is i'll cancel the 2 and 2 here and i will write it in the form of n plus 1 i'll take this n on this side and i will write n plus 1 by n is equal to lambda by lambda dash all right and then i can split this here i can write 1 plus 1 by n is equal to lambda by lambda dash and we already have lambda by lambda dash as 1.25 all right now we are pretty close to the solution now what i can deduce from here that if i take the one on the other side we will get one by n is equal to 1.25 minus one that is 0.25 and that is equal to one by four that gives us the nth harmonic as the fourth harmonic guys now after this it's pretty simple let's say that the first harmonic is represented by l naught La, um, sorry the first harmonic is represented by wavelength lambda naught and frequency f naught then again we can rewrite that c is equal to lambda naught f naught and that is equal to the lambda that is the nth harmonic wavelength and frequency of that nth harmonic all right so from here i can directly deduce that f naught is equal to lambda f by lambda naught now according to our formula here we can see that if we have this formula then according to this formula any nth harmonic the lambda will be given by 2 times of l divided by n isn't it so i'll just use that the fourth harmonic we have established is uh, lambda so uh, 2 times of l divided by 4 into the frequency that we have for the fourth harmonic that is 340 all right so we have 340 as the frequency and that divided by lambda naught again i will use the same equation 2l by n but here the first harmonic has n is equal to 1 so what we have is 2l by 1 so 2l by 1 so here we can cancel these out and quite simply the f naught frequency will be equal to 340 by 4 that is actually 85 hertz all right so interesting thing to note that the difference between the nth frequency and n plus 1 frequency is also 85 all right because if you subtract 425 minus 340 you get 85 so um, if you as a student know that for two ends closed uh, situation the
then the difference between the consecutive harmonic frequencies is the fundamental frequency this is really easy and hi i hope as a student you will recall the demonstration i showed you to figure this one out rather than mathematically solving it but here is the mathematical solution as well so i hope you like this video thank you